Guitar Pro is a guitar tab and sheet music editor which I used to spend a whole lot of time using all the way back in the day when I used to play guitar. I actually used it to write a whole lot of songs but then once I discovered FL Studio and the world of music production I kind of just stopped. So yeah anyway today I'm going to be making a beat using Guitar Pro 7. Let's go ahead and get started. Okay so for the first instrument I might just go for a nylon guitar just for now. I will write all of my chords and stuff like that and then I'll go ahead and find a better sound. What should my first chord be? That should do. Give it a little bit of strum and maybe a little bit of vibrato. So next chord, maybe that. Third chord, maybe we'll go for a little bit of a little bit of that. That sounds all right. And I might actually just repeat that chord. It's a little bit slow. I might turn up the tempo. 150 or so should do. So now that I have my basic chords, I'm going to go ahead and mix it up a little bit, add in some extra notes here and there. I might change these to half notes. Maybe I'll go for a rest there. Hmm. That is sounding all right. I might actually turn this into a dead slap. More dead notes. Yeah, that's sounding pretty good. Last note, last note. Oops, <laughs> wrong one. Open. Now I want to take all of these notes. I'm just going to palm mute them. Let's give that a try. I think that sounds good enough for now. So let's go ahead and try it out with some different instrument sounds. Strings. That one sounds really good. I'm just going to leave it in and move on to the next instrument. I might add in some piano chords or something like that. We'll see what happens. So I'll just use one of these terrible piano sounds for now. Might copy this over. Might turn these into crotchet notes and I'll just copy and paste them over. That sounds all right. I'm going to try add on a palm mute just to try and make it sound a little bit different. Oh, that's cool. I'm actually liking that a lot. Let's see what it sounds like when I added my original instrument. Hey! So I think that is going to do it for the intro section. Now I think it's time to add in some drums as well as a bass line. Let's go for a standard drum kit for now. That's sounding pretty good for a basic kick and snare pattern. Let's start adding in some other drums. Where's my hi-hats? Whoa, I'm gonna have to pull up the chart. I cannot remember where any drums are. Okay, that's looking pretty good. Let's see how it sounds. Way too many open hi-hats. We'll get rid of that one. Get rid of this one here. Get rid of that one there. So now that drum pattern is sounding pretty good, now I'm going to bring in another drum track. And this one is going to be an 808 kit. So we just need to change the sound bank, we'll go 808. And now I'm just going to use this 808 kit just to add in some other elements. So we'll add in some hi-hats. Oh, that reverb is way too strong. Okay, everything is sounding good so far. Now I think it's time to add in a bass line. Let's go ahead and add in a new track. Just a normal electric bass for now. Add a rest in there. Now for this rest I'll change it to a quarter note because I'm also going to put in another bass note. That's better. So this bass line is sounding pretty boring at the moment. Let's go ahead and spice it up a little bit. That sounds a whole lot better. So I think I've only got one more instrument that I want to add in. So I've just duplicated this track here and I've just gotten rid of all of the extra notes. So now it's just straight chords. And now I'm just going to go through and find a better synth sound. Maybe I'll give one of these brass sounds a try. Let's go for brilliant. Oh, that is loud. <laughs> Turn it down. It's actually pretty good. I think I'll just go with that synth. Won't bother looking at it anymore. Okay, so I think it's pretty much the last instrument that I'm gonna need. And as usual, I've gone ahead and tidied up the beat a little bit off camera, and yeah, here is the finished beat. Enjoy. <laughs>
So there we go, that is my beat which I made using only Guitar Pro 7. That beat actually took a really long time to make, I think it's because I wasn't too familiar with the program. A whole lot of changes have been made since I last used it. I think the last version that I actually used was Guitar Pro 5, which was released all the way back in 2005 or something like that. After spending so much time today playing around with Guitar Pro, I'm actually pretty interested in going out and buying a new guitar, and maybe I could even make some guitar related videos as well, I don't know, let me know if that is something you would like to see. But yeah anyway, I think that is going to wrap it up for this video, thanks for watching everybody, bye!